have to say. So you're off in a master assassin uniform. Hmm. I'm touched. What good is a key if you don't know what lock it opens? I dare say Miss Thorne is in the same predicament. Henry! Mr. Green, here, this is it. This matches a casket owned by the Queen. Kept in the Tower of London. It's Why a does she own a casket? I don't suppose you have any friends there. A guardsman? If you can find him once you're inside. I'll talk to you again when I have the shroud. Thank you for your help. Right, yes. Well, good luck. Evie? Lots of guards. Predictable patrol routes. Thorn may already be inside. Better stick to the shadows. I mean, at this point you are the shadows. is in a chest that matches the key. Find it and bring it to me. Halt! Escort to the keys. Halt! Who comes there? The keys! Whose keys? Queen Victoria's mm. keys. Hers! Queen Victoria's keys! And all's well! Okay. You're not with the Royal Guard. How many of you are there? Tell me. Let me go. This is treason. Just you wait until I get out. There'll be hell to pay. I see. You rest. For God's sake, I wish they just knocked the constable out. Alan, the leader of the No, come in, leader. Ah. Wrong twin, but. Yes, a friend. Oh, that's good. Say, friend, could you get me out? Guards ran off with the keys. Don't know of it. Thank you. It's treason is what it is, and desecration of the chapel. Miss Thorne told me to be grateful they didn't kill me outright. The nerve. She's after an object of great power. 
She cannot be allowed to steal it. Not the crown jewels. Something much more important. We must stop her. I still have men loyal to me. I'll rally them. Yeah. You're climbing, right? Okay, they're all here. Okay, then. I'll run in with them. So, you have murdered me after all. But what good will that do you? The shroud isn't here. I'm very determined. You sought a tool of healing in order to extend your own power. Not mine. Ours. You are so short-sighted. You'd hoard power and never use it, when we would better the condition of humanity. I hope you never find the Shroud. You have no idea what it truly can do. <coughs> Tell me then. Mm. No. I mean, the empire has crumbled. Thanks to the twins. I need to sound the alarm. You'd best get yourself away before I do. I'll hold off as long as I can. Oh. Even like twenty seconds. Hmm? Take this down, then I want it sealed until you receive further orders. Another, another thing. Miss Thorn, you supplied me with the means to secure London's future. The city thanks you. The order thanks you. 
I thank you. But the shroud can only be worn by one. Therefore, I hereby dissolve this partnership. Yeah. I promise to endow you with an income into your old age. But that is the most I can do. May the father of understanding guide you. Yes, what is it? Miss Thorne, sir. What of her? I'm sorry, sir. She is dead. And the key. Where is the <laughs> key? There was uh, no key yeah. found on her body, sir. Yeah, it's very measured. The shroud will be mine. Even if I have to raise hellfire to do it. Burn the letter. Oh, that's a little rude. I will not build a single bus for you criminals. Oh, you'll do as we say, Bailey. Or we're gonna have to pay you and your family a visit. You leave them be. Hey! Hmm. After him! Man, I thought it was a... Uh... Atta girl. Hmm. Out of Jacob. Oh, yeah, that's right. Faster! I mean, it's better because she, she actually has stuff. Uh... Ah. Ah. 
Do I have a lot of skill in getting inside factories? Though I will give them credit for not using the kids. Kids. I wonder why she didn't care about these. She's not a lion in here. I don't want to hurt you. I'm fine with that. Deed and revenge. I sent Ross's men a message. You and your family are safe. Oh, you are blooming brilliant. The founding members of the London General Omnibus Company. Good moral men. All of them. We'll have buses rolling before you know it. Thank you, Miss Fry. My pleasure. Take one. Here you go. Sir. I say we stop this goodwill towards strangers nonsense and focus on what London really needs. Solid leadership whose hard work will raise everyone up to success. As go the titans of business, so goes the world. You weak fool. Get a job. Same movie said for you. The best guards money can buy won't do Mr. Dredge any good. Jacob, it's me, Sergeant Frederick Appeline. Freddy. Sergeant. Mm. Undercover. There's to be a robbery at the Bank of England, I'm sure of it. Robbery? It's a fortress. Mm, the boys at the station thought I was joking. Wouldn't be so funny if it was their life savings. Who's behind it? That's confidential. Oh, come on, Freddy. No, I, mean... I can help you. Imagine the headlines. Thieves caught in the act. Appeline Wright all along. Well, I suppose I can fill you in a little. Every fiscal quarter, a branch of the bank is robbed. Never the same branch. The thieves are supplied by... Cockham merchants. 
Mm. Thanks for the info, Freddy. It's Sergeant. I, 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 I'm keeping my eye on you. Now, come on, Freddy. Are we level five here? Pretty sure it's you. Yeah, that's it. I only knew which shipment it was. And I could trace the weapons to their owner. Yeah. Capital I idea, own Freddy. Games. Oh, I mean... By, would you? Here we are, the shipping docks. Now, where are the Cockham crates intended for Mr. Plutus? I mean... I own this town now, so I mean... Everybody answers to me. Now you learn in this town. Where the devil is it? Either you work for Jacob or you die for him. to wait for the crates to be retrieved. I mean, they're gonna be retrieved over their dead bodies. So, uh, they're not gonna be suspicious. Stop in for a pint. Templars. Ah, yes, lead me to Mr. Plutus. Try to drive my Let's go. Steady on. Doing fine, good. Whoa! That's the way. Steady on. Slow down now. The weapons are here. Yeah. 
same routine as before. If the two penny opens a vault, we robs it and leaves the money in his storehouse. Look sharp, the boys are waiting. To the Bank of England. Yeah. Yeah. Plutus is twopenny. What does that even mean? Yeah. Well, How do you what say you? You're not gonna like it. No, see here. I am graced with the Aberline family's robust constitution. Two pennies rob in the Bank of England. <laughs> <laughs> the governor of the bank. I think I might need to sit down. There's no time for that. Bastard's probably deep in the vault by now. However you get in, I don't want to know. Of course. But do you know how I can get in? I mean, I'm stopping the robbery. I'm not exactly uh, taking stuff for myself. The bank is designed to protect England's gold reserves. A fortress guarded under lock and key. There is the bank manager. Mr. Osborne. Only he is allowed free access to the vault. You can spot him near the entrance. And in... oh yes. One man keeps a close watch on the vault door. He watches it like a hawk. If he sees you, he's sure to see it. The guard captain, Gus Howard, knows Tupinny well. He is in on this, I'm certain. Hmm. Mr. Fry, please use discretion. The only way to implicate Tupini is to catch him in the act. Do not jeopardize him. No big displays. This is the Bank of England. If you encounter any trouble, I'll be in the atrium. In disguise. Granny with the beard again. Tupini won't be leaving that vault. I mean, he won't be, but we don't exactly have to tell him that. That's my secret. Let's see. Last chance for the tour. Well, I see I rather fancy a private tour of the vault. Right, this. Don't kill me. For God's sake, stop running! Stop him! I've wanted to punch someone in the face all bloody day! I'm trying to make it cool. Stolen your last shilling from the people of London. 
those animals squander their savings. We are the experts in investment. Nothing would be built or improved. Nothing would rise above the muck without our hand guiding. No creating the future. I mean. They benefit as much as their work. It is their city, not yours. Without our investments, there would be no city. I mean, without the city, there would be no you. For the path of the dead. Keep the cost of that coin. them all oh. for robbing the people oh. of England hmm. the Bank of England is closed until further notice He's smug, but he knows what you did. The currency, a laughing stock. Inflation out of control, Tupany brutally murdered. And yet Parliament does nothing. The bill will be defeated, sir. That buffooned Israeli shall be taken care of. It has been arranged, upon my honor. Your honor carries little weight. How dare you, sir! The poor people of this city have suffered enough. Today I granted a significant rise to my staff in order to counter inflation. What? I would supply all of London if I could. Meanwhile, mm. you sit in your club and wax poetic with promises your honor cannot pay. Your family's fortune, however. I wonder what they would offer to keep your record out of the newspapers. About the same as Disraeli would offer for your bones, I'd wager. But let's be generous. Mm -hmm. Why limit ourselves to one or the other when we can have it all? What say you, sir? Mm. Shall I come collect? No more dallying. The halls of Parliament must be free to govern. Again. Understood? You may see yourself out. Hmm. 
That's how you manage things. A letter. For me? I still don't know what his letter he keeps talking about is. That's it. Jake Benevia have killed two of Crawford Sturgs, agents, Philip Tupenny and Lucy Thorne. The Templars are far from defeated. Conspiracy to assassinate the Prime Minister takes Jacob to the House of Parliament, and despite Evie's triumph of release Thorne, the quest for the Shroud takes a dramatic turn. Dear Mr. Starrick, men hired, strike tomorrow. Disraeli's death will stall Corrupt Practices Act indefinitely. Gladstone will be far more pliable. May the father, etc., etc., be. So Starrick's got his finger in politics, has he? I need to enter the Sinopian Club and find out who B is. Tread delicately around Parliament. As if I don't usually. Your indiscretion at the Bank of England caused British currency to nearly collapse. Nearly is the operative word. Speaking of collapses, what of the key you found that unlocks very little? Henry took it for research. I am confident that the vault is ours. Nearly ours, Evie. <laughs> nearly. 